Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making a custom pacifier clip for my son that's gonna be coming in two months. I'm really excited. And I really want to make some like cute DIY stuff for him. So my next project will be a teddy bear for him. But let's get to it. So the first step I took was to organize or rearrange the beads how I would want it to look on the cord. And I did this because, so I wouldn't cut too much of the cord or too little. So here you kind of measure it out roughly. And then I kind of added a little bit more to it just so I in case like it wasn't too tight when it came to making the knots or the loops afterwards. So the next step is to tie a knot on the wooden clip. Um, I wouldn't say there's like a specific way you'd have to do it. I kind of just did it however I wanted to. I just made sure that it was tight on there and like it wouldn't rip off, say in the future that he would like grab it or something or be chewing on it and it just pops off. <laughs> now on to the next step, which is to start actually threading your wooden beads or your silicone beads through your cord. Now, if you realize that your holes for the beads are too like tight or small, you could actually use like a paper clip or if you can find like a needle, just kind of thread it through like that if it's too tight for you. Okay, so now that you finally threaded your silicone beads through the cord, it's time to make a knot and the loop. I made one knot, you can make multiple. I did this a couple of tries because I didn't want it to be too loose or too tight because you don't want it to look stiff like when it's being clipped on. Then after that you make the loop that would go through the pacifier and to make sure that it's big enough put your pacifier clip the wooden part through the hoop to make sure it will actually go through easily. Okay so once you're done the loop you cut off the excess string that you have on there and then you're done. You finally made your child a custom pacifier clip. <laughs> 